Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make artwork for Instagram. Now, this might be for an advertisement or something you just want to demonstrate or just a beautiful picture, or perhaps you just want to show off some of your art. So as I'm sure you're aware, Instagram works on images that are largely squares and you create a grid as you upload your different images. So the first thing we need to do is insert our square. And for this, we're going to go up to the Insert tab go along to shapes, click on the drop down and simply insert this square rectangle here. Now normally when you click and drag you'll create a rectangle. If you hit the shift key it will make a perfect square. Don't worry about the size of the square, generally the bigger the better because then when you save it it will become a better quality document. We're going to change the background colour of this square but first of all we're going to import the images that we want within our square and then we can look at what sort of colour choices we have. So I'm going to go up to insert, go along to pictures, click on the drop down and select picture from file. So from here I'm just going to go ahead and select my image and click insert. Now when you insert an image into Word, sometimes it will reveal itself on top of your square, sometimes underneath. If it is underneath, don't worry. As long as you've got it highlighted, and make sure you're on the Picture Format tab. Go down to this icon here, Wrap Text, click on the drop down and select In Front of Text. Now with this particular picture, we're going to put it into a circle. But in order to ensure that the picture crops as a circle, we first of all have to make this image into a perfect square. So again, make sure your shape is highlighted. Make sure you're on picture format. Go along to crop, click on the drop down, select, select, select aspect ratio and just select one to one. And there you'll see that this square highlighted box appears. And all you just have to do is move your image to exactly where you want it and then just press enter and there your image will be cropped to a, a square. The next thing we want to do is if we want to crop it to a circle exactly the same thing go up to the crop tool click on the drop down but this time go to crop to shape and then I'm just going to go down to the circle hit the circle and your image will then be inside a circle. If you don't first of all crop this to a one-to-one -one ratio, your circle won't be a circle, it will actually be an oval. So that's the reason we do it. The next thing I want to do is just put a nice white outline around the edge of this circle. So either double click on your shape or go along to Format Pane and click on it to reveal this menu. Go to the bucket icon Go down to Line and click Solid Line. I'm going to go across to Colour, click on the drop down and select White. And then the width of my border needs to be 5.5. And then press Enter. Now of course you can play around with any of these colours and any of these widths to suit your needs. So the next thing I'm going to do is just reduce the size of this circle. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the next two images. So up to insert, picture, picture from file, select my picture, insert, wrap text in front of text. I'm still continuing to work underneath the picture format tab to go to crop, aspect ratio, one to one, which I believe it is press enter, crop again, crop to shape and go to the circle. And then again format picture, click on the bucket icon, solid line, down to the white colour and again input 5.5. Then again just reduce that and put it on our picture. Now if you want this picture on top of this picture then you simply have to just go up to these icons here. 
bring forwards or send backwards. So if we wanted to send this one backwards, we just click and it will send it behind the top picture. And again, bring forwards, it will do exactly the same. Now for the third picture, insert, picture, picture from file, click on the picture and insert, wrap text in front of text, crop, aspect ratio, one to one, enter, again crop, crop to shape, circle, go to format picture, solid line, down to white, 5.5 and just again reduce the size. I'm going to send this backwards. Now from these colours we can now introduce a colour to our background. So click on the shape, go to shape format and go up here to shape fill. Click on the drop down. If you don't see the colour of your choice here, go along to more fill colours. And here you have the colour wheel. Now you can just move this cursor around if you wish or you can go down and use the eyedropper tool which is here. Just click on it and this circle will appear. Now all you need to do to select a colour of your choice is just to hover the circle anywhere over the colour that you want. Now I'm going to work with a colour based on this dark blue. So if I click on the dark blue, go back over to your colour wheel and I'm just going to move the slider along so it's a lighter colour. And then you can see the cursor has appeared where this colour is. To make it lighter you need to move the cursor towards the centre of the circle to where it's white. So I'm just going to move that cursor directly into the centre and you can see the colour I'm ending up with here. And then click OK. Now I have a small border running around the outside of my square which I don't want. So click on the square again go up to this icon here, Shape Outline, click on the drop down and select No Outline. OK, and now on to some words. Now, in order to save this as a picture and then use it in Instagram, you actually have to copy and paste text in a slightly different way that it will save it as a picture. So I'll show you what I mean now. Whatever you create in text, you must create it exactly how you want it to be seen on this square. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, then click and drag. So for this particular demonstration I'm just going to put some words in, change the font and I'm going to change the background to black. So there's my text. Now with every text box, if I try and move this text box, you can see that what I've ended up with is a white background, a black border and black text. And I would like a black background, no border and white text. So click on the text box, make sure you're on shape format, go to shape fill and we're going to go to black and then go to outline, click no outline. Now by default Word has actually changed this text to white because the background is black. But if you need to change the text colour, double click inside the text box, Command or Control A to highlight your text, go to the Home tab, and then go to this icon here, click on the drop down and again you have your selection of colours. Now for this particular demonstration I'm going to change the font to this quirky font here. Then I'm going to increase the size of the font by using increase font size and just use the little boxes to move the box to the size that you want. To ensure that this text is in the centre I'm just going to go up to home and along to this centre icon here. Then I'm just going to move this to exactly where I want it 
And this is the point at which you need to ensure that the text and the box are exactly how you want it to be seen on the artwork. Because now we have to copy and paste it as an image. And once it's an image, you can stretch it a little bit, but it will lose quality. So I would bring it off here. I would copy it, press Command or Control C on your keyboard, click off, go up to the Home tab, go down to Paste, click on the drop down and select Paste as Picture. Now if you can't see it, then just move something around and it will appear. Here we go. Ah, so what's happened here is that because I haven't actually formally turned my text white, it's defaulted back to black. So let's delete that move everything back, go down to my text box, highlight my text, sorry go to the home tab and go and click on white. Now I'm going to go back and copy it, click off and then paste this picture. Let's see where it's moved to, there it is. You just click on it, go up to picture format, wrap text, in front of text. Okay, now we can move everything around again. Now the reason we do this is because Word will not save text as a picture. So if I click on this text box and right click, let's move this up because the menu's gone. If I right click on this, you can see that save as picture is greyed out. If I click on this one and right click, I can now save this as a picture and that's the difference that although you lose a little bit of quality this is the only way you can save text as a picture in Word. So once we've done that we're going to create the next word so double click inside command or control A to highlight all of your text again ensure that it's exactly the size you want it you can pop it on if you want to move a few things around now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller highlight the text, go to the home tab and just reduce the size if it's a little bit too much you can always input the font size you want, let's put 40 in and let's just reduce the size of that a little bit Yep, so I'm going to copy that, Command or Control C, click off and then paste, paste this picture. Again, it's gone behind up here, so we'll just highlight it, picture format, wrap text in front of text. Just move that one down, and this is the real text box, so we move that off. And we can come back and place all these where we want it in a minute. Just go back down click on the text box, highlight it all, I'm going to write the word art, I'm going to increase the size, so highlight the text again, go to the home tab and then just arrange this box the way you want it to look. Maybe that's a little bit too much and then we'll just reduce the size of the box again That's okay. Copy that, click off, paste, paste this picture. And again, it's disappeared somewhere. So we'll click on it, format picture, wrap text in front of text. And we'll just move it in front. There we go. So let's get rid of this text box now. Just delete it, highlight it, and delete it. And now this is the part at which you want to arrange everything so it looks exactly as you want it. You need to make the square bigger or smaller. Make sure you hold the shift key down to ensure it's a square. And then you can see the width and the height will appear and you can see it's a perfect square. And then you can just move everything around to exactly where you want it. Now the artwork will stretch a little bit. So if I pull the corner you will see it will stretch a little bit. But if you pull it too much you can see it loses quality. So once you're happy, we're going to group these together first. So select your first circle, press the command key down, 
select the next one and the next one, go to picture format, go along to group, click on the drop down and select group. What that means is you can now move all of these round as one object so you don't keep nudging it. But don't panic, if you need to go back and change something then just highlight it, go back up to group, click on the drop down and just select ungroup. Then we're going to do the same with the letters, then we're going to do the same with the text, just highlight it all by hitting the command or control key, go up to groups and select group and again we can move that round again. And once you've done that we're going to go ahead and select the entire artwork, click on the background, hold the command or control key down, select the circles and then select the text. Go back up to picture format and select group. Now the reason I didn't select the whole entire artwork as a group is because some of the problems are that the artwork can sometimes disappear behind the background. So I found that by highlighting and grouping the circles first and then doing the same with the text, then grouping it all together, it seems to behave. So once you've highlighted everything and grouped everything together, then just simply right click, go down to save as picture. Here you'll be presented with your save dialog box and here you can choose where to save it. And then down here you can choose what sort of file format you want to use. Now I'm quite happy with the PNG and obviously you can use it as a JPEG as well. So really the top two are the options that you have for Instagram. Once you've decided, just hit save. And then if we delete this, just to check, delete the whole lot, go to insert, picture, picture from file, and then our picture is in here, saved as picture PNG, and click insert. So now that's saved as a PNG file, you can go ahead and use it on Instagram. So I hope you have lots of fun with that. I hope it helps. Please subscribe and have a great day.